Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. Thank you all for the amazing support these last few videos. You guys have been absolutely insane, so make sure to leave a comment down below what story today is going to be your favorite. I'm not sure which story that will be. It might be this first one though. The overpowered sound bug has returned to CSGO. First off, credit goes to Banana Gaming. His original video will be down below on this, as well as to Adren. Many months ago, found an overpowered sound bug. Now, to give you guys reference, that overpowered sound bug that Adren first found, it was actually tested on Overpass. It has been patched. Right now, to actually use that bug, you have to have SV Cheats enabled, but this one brings back that same sound bug, but SV Cheats don't have to be on, and it still works currently in matchmaking as well. So I'm going to give you guys the text file on screen that you have to follow these files just to get to them. It's very, very simple. Go to your documents, go to your PC or whatever it might be, follow that same string, and once you get to the last part there, you see all those text files, delete every single text file besides the manifest ones, and please make copies of the files, guys. I don't want to be the reason why your computer breaks if they do ever patch this, or CSGO won't work any longer. So please Please do make copies just in case, but delete all those text files besides the manifest ones. And here's the overpowered sound bug, what it sounds like. Besides the train, it does cut out every single sound. You can only hear other players and no interactive sounds on the map. So it's very overpowered because you can walk around and hear just about anything from way, way far away because all the interactive sounds have been taken out. And so here's what the overpowered sound bug sounds like. And then some very interesting news, we had Freakazoid oh, oh, actually a couple days ago talk about this. He actually responded to if I buy power were to offer him. It does seem very unlikely going forward that Freakazoid will play with these guys. But here was his very, very weird response. And for all of you who are watching this, if there are parents in the room, you might want to tell them to leave because here is Freakazoid's response to if he was offered by I buy power. Like if they ask me, it's like I'm getting a hand job basically. I'm not, I'm like getting there, I'm like I'm like getting I'm getting all hard. It's like I'm getting hard, hey, we're doing great together, but I'm hard right now. And then what? I can't go play at other tournaments? Where's my blowjob and where's the sex? You know what I'm saying? It's the same shit. I'm just getting hard. You give me, you rubbing my dick, but I need, I need some mouth. Let me get some vagina. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, while we're bouncing off that really weird note, I'm glad you guys are still watching the video here. I do want to shout out to World Games. They're actually bringing a CS:GO tournament to Toronto, Canada, in the Cineplex there, and they've actually sponsored this video and a couple other ones. And if you guys like my videos, please do me a favor and check out their website down below. Especially if any of you guys are North American or Canadian people out there, they are running a $90,000 CS:GO tournament. Their first. One ever in Toronto, Canada with only $25 entry fees for all of you out there who are amateurs or semi-pros, whatever you may be. If you guys can pull a team together and want to play with people like Steel who are going to be in Toronto at the day of the tournament promoting this kind of thing, thank you to them. They actually reached out to me to promote this kind of thing. So if you guys want to sign up or even check out their website, they do a lot of great things on the website, daily news articles on top of that, head-to-head -head battles. If you guys want to head-to-head -head battle anyone on any other esport out there like FIFA or Madden or even CSGO in the future as well and make money that way, it's an absolute absolute great website and they have sponsored me so huge thanks to them and please let me know down below if you guys are gonna have a team that signs up and maybe in the future one day they maybe they're gonna decide to invite me to a North American event and I'll be there in person to promote it as well and I cannot wait for a future partnership so if you guys like me please click on that link check out their website I do appreciate that but now moving on we have some big news out there you guys saw this yesterday Lowell has been cut from mouse sports and has left and this means some big potential changes coming to mouse sports you all are probably aware of the rumor we could have two new members going to mouse sports and it would be replacing both Lowell and apparently Dennis next and that will be Styko from Team Hellraisers and Sunny from Team Penta which would make their new roster obviously Oscar, Rops, Chris J, Styko and Sunny but it seems there's other rumors out there as well because Lowell was kicked from Mouse Sports and he's also a fellow Spaniard could Lowell go to Optic Gaming leave a comment down below what you guys think that's the current rumor right now because obviously current Optic member Hazed is one of their lesser members could be kicked off and that would mean maybe another Spaniard is going to join Optic Gaming in Lowell and they still have Tark as their IGL, which would make your new Optic roster have two Spaniards because Mixwell does miss home. Maybe he misses speaking Spanish around the house. So we'll see what happens in the future with Optic Gaming. I do think it's a possibility that if not FNS, maybe Lowell will go to Optic. But I certainly think Optic will have a new fit member sometime in the near future. And this next story makes me feel so freaking good for Hobbit on screen. He finally got bought out for his contract. It's about god dang time. If you guys remembered a couple months ago, he was still being on loan and he was actually being rented for additional like 
like 15 days, this guy legitimately earned his spot on this roster, and that's how CSGO contracts should work. He had to work his butt off. You know, you know Gambit actually went out there and said, yes, he's still on loan. Let's Can we rent him for an additional 15 days? Does that sound good? And they didn't actually want to buy him out then, but at the major, he proved himself in some crucial moments. He's been bought out, and even cooler, Gambit Gaming disclosed the amount, an astonishing six-figure $100,000 buyout for Hobbit. So it seems Gambit Gaming, if they buy out Hobbit, the only lesser player I would think about is probably Mo on that team. It seems they're going to stick together with that solid five lineup, and that was in great news. Congratulations, Hobbit, for being bought out. And then some very interesting news. I just feel bad for these smaller organizations. If you guys know about Fragadelphia, it's a spot where a lot of amateurs and semi-pros and a lot of pro teams out there go to play multiple times every year because they have no restrictions. If you're banned for match fixing or anything else, you pretty much can play at Fragadelphia. I think they even allow back band players. I could be wrong on that, but they definitely do allow match fixers because Swag was there and Steel were there a couple days ago for Fragadelphia. After the tournament ended, though, they called out one of the minor teams because apparently they charged back their entry fee of just $100. Like, why? I mean, World Games, link down below, they have $25 entry fees for all you people out there who want to play. But an actual organization charged back $100. The conversation did go on and on. Apparently, a miscommunication here, miscommunication there. Whether or not it was a mistake on the org, it does make them look pretty bad there because to charge back afterwards, I know there probably was some kind of issue going on there, and then to be called out publicly for that, ah, oh, just a kind of an embarrassing news story there. It made me feel bad inside, but huge thanks as well to all of you guys who went to my live streams a couple days ago. I do apologize. My internet here has been so crappy. I tried to live stream yesterday four times and it cut out every single time. I cannot wait to go back to school and actually live stream full time again. So huge thanks to all of you guys who have been supporting me on my own live streams. It really does mean a lot to me. And you guys can hate on me all, all you want. Yes, I'm shirtless. My room is incredibly hot right now. The AC is turned basically off and it's still summertime. So this is going to be an awkward outro. Thank you all for watching. I seriously do enjoy making these videos so much. Hopefully back to live streaming sometime soon. So live, love, laugh, love. My name is Jake. Remember, I like you. I will see you guys all. <laughs>